welcome back to another video and the draw for 2022 African World Cup qualifying has been made. I'm sure you all already know this as I bring this group stage draw to you. It's for the second round and um, Algeria, very favourable group and actually got two of the three uh, teams. I don't know if you watched the preview for the draw, but Algeria drew two of the sides I wanted. I wanted Niger and I wanted Djibouti and I got both of them. So I'm very happy. Burkina Faso... They were one of the tougher teams in uh, pot two, but nonetheless, we did beat them the last time we qualified for the FIFA World Cup, so that's that's a good sign. Before I jump into the group stage draw, I want to answer a few questions people have been asking me. So first of all, um, how it works. So there are 10 groups. You can see them right here. You have to win the group to go to the third round. If you win the group, you don't qualify for the World Cup. You win the group, 10 groups, 10 group winners who are then drawn into some playoffs and the five playoff winners will then advance to the FIFA World Cup, okay? So you can't come second in the group, you've got to come first and there's another playoff round and that's very hard for Africa because you only get five teams but that's another conversation for another day and I think going forward when they expand the World Cup, Africa will get more teams. So yes, to answer your questions guys, second round, 10 groups, the group winners advance to round three. We've even already had a round one where the likes of Somalia have been knocked out. You go to round three if you win these groups and you will play a playoff against another group winner home and away to qualify for the FIFA World Cup in Qatar, an Arab World Cup. We've got to see Algeria qualify for that. So that's answering the questions um, in terms of when the games are going to be played originally. The first game was meant to be in March 2020. However, with AFCON being moved from summer 21 to January 2021, they might move the AFCON qualifiers earlier, so we're unsure. So if they do do that, it's going to be a while till these qualifiers actually get underway, because remember, the World Cup in Qatar is taking place in December and November of 2022, not in the summertime as normal. So everything's a little bit delayed, and interestingly, we might have an AFCON a month after a World Cup, if that's the case. So unclear yet on the fixtures, but... Let's take a look, I've touched on it, on that all-important draw. So you can see on your screen right now the 10 groups and Algeria. Group A, is it a good sign? The top first group, Niger and Djibouti. Two teams in my preview. Check it out if you haven't. I said I wanted Niger and Djibouti in Algeria's easiest, best group possible. We've got them. Djibouti and Niger, I don't know anything about them. And that's what makes it so good. Because we've got two teams that we are clueless about, which means they're not very good, okay? They shouldn't be problems. Also, Niger borders Algeria geographically, so very easy to get to. And Djibouti, pot four, the worst side left in the qualification campaign. Burkina Faso, easily the best side. But Mardi has said he's spoken already to uh, Petroipa, I believe. But Petroipa has since retired from international football. They have got Bertrand Traore, who's at Lyon, and being linked with moves to the Premier League. And Bertrand Traore was once at Chelsea. So I think if we keep Bertrand Traore quiet, that keeps Burkina Faso quiet, and Algeria should be winning this group comfortably. But we've got to take it one game at a time. And they don't want to hear it. Guys, even if we get out of this group, we haven't qualified yet. Let's all calm down. Alhamdulillah, it's a fantastic draw, but we've got to get the work done. We've got to research these teams properly, as Belmadi says. So Algeria should comfortably come out of that group. Again, easy travelling, not like the AFCON qualifying, where we have to go to Botswana, Zambia and Zimbabwe, which are just like on the other side of the continent. But brilliant draw for Algeria. I can't see any hiccups, inshallah, from the likes of Niger or Djibouti. And then we should be getting a point in Burkina Faso and winning at home. We win all the home games, we're halfway there. So for me... Very good draw for Algeria. We can start to get a little bit excited. We haven't been absolutely shafted like when we got Cameroon and Nigeria last time. So it's looking good, guys. It's looking good, to be fair. And I'm very excited for these matches. I think we'll get four or five wins in a draw and make it into the third round. So let's focus on the second round before we start looking at who's going to make the third round. So brilliant draw for Algeria, guys. Uh, let me know what you think the group's going to look like. Of course, I'm sure you'll all be saying Algeria will win the group unless you're from Burkina Faso or Niger or Djibouti. However, nine other groups, let's look at those as well. So Group B, our North African neighbours, Tunisia, have got Zambia, Mauritania and Equatorial Guinea. And Algeria recently played Zambia and beat them 5-0. So Zambia are not what they were, although they were champions of Africa in uh, 20, uh, 2012. Mauritania, Tunisia struggled against them at AFCON. Uh, in 2019 AFCON and Equatorial Guinea who actually knocked out Tunisia at a recent AFCON but in terms of now 2020 Tunisia AFCON semi-finalists they should be coming out of their group so for me 
Group B is going to be won by Tunisia. I think Tunisia will win Group B. Group C, we've got Nigeria, Cape Verde, Central African Republic and Liberia. Again, Nigeria should be fairly comfortable in that group. Another AFCON semi-finalist. Uh, the other three teams weren't even at AFCON 2019, so Nigeria, very fortunate. I can't see too many problems apart from maybe the likes of Kondogbia at Central African Republic. So Nigeria are going to win Group C for me. Group D. Now, we always knew the tough group was going to have Ivory Coast in it because they're in pot two. And unfortunately, it's Cameroon who are going to struggle. Now, Cameroon hosting the next AFCON, remember this, so they don't even have to qualify. They're going to put all of their eggs into the World Cup qualifying basket. Mozambique and Malawi, let's not worry about them. It's sad because one of Cameroon or Ivory Coast won't be going to the World Cup. And you remember the last two World Cups Algeria went to, I believe Cameroon and Ivory Coast also qualified for those ones. So it's sad, it's sad. But for me, Cameroon, Ivory Coast are going to be fighting for that uh, place first of the group. I'm going to say, Cameroon are in talks to get Joel Matip back, by the way. I think Ivory Coast, and I think Cameroon would prefer to try and win the AFCON at home. I think Ivory Coast will take Group D. Group E, Mali, Uganda, Kenya, and Rwanda. Um, Rwanda there to make up the numbers. Are Mali going to get Adama Traore? If they do, that's a whole different ball game. But assuming they don't, I think Uganda are going to win Group E, guys. I think Uganda are going to top Mali. So I think Uganda are going to... Top group E, Dennis Onyango, one of the best keepers, if not the best goalkeeper in Africa. Also got some great players, you know, Okwi, um, some great some great players, you know, and particularly playing against the likes of Mali and Kenya. I think Uganda are going to be very good defensively against them. So I think Uganda are going to win Group E. They were great at AFCON as well. Group F. Now, I'm a big fan of Group F. I actually think Group F is a group of death. You've got four decent sides there. And Egypt, guys... Egypt are in big, fat trouble. I don't think Egypt are coming out of Group F. I don't think they'll do it. They've got Gabon. So they've got Salah and Aubameyang up against each other. They've got Libya, a North African derby. And they've got Angola. And as for pot four sides, Angola is not easy. Angola were regulars at AFCON not too long ago. Even the recent AFCON, <clears throat> they were present. And even 2006, Angola qualified for the World Cup. So I don't think Egypt will come out of Group F. I think Gabon... With Aubameyang, will batter everyone. And I think Gabon will get their act together after not making the last AFCON. New manager there, some decent other players, Buanga as well. I think Gabon will take Group F. Egypt is Salah plus 10 championship players, right? So I think Gabon are going to win Group F. Group G, Ghana, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Ethiopia. That's a fantastic group. That's a really competitive group. I would have been worried if Algeria drew against uh, South Africa and Zimbabwe. Uh, Ghana should have enough. I fancy Zimbabwe and South Africa to push them. But over six games, you'd expect Ghana to come out strong in Group G. So Group G is going to be Ghana for me. Group H, Senegal, Congo, Namibia and Togo. Namibia were at AFCON, didn't do anything. Um, Togo, Algeria recently battered 4-1 away. I think Senegal are going to comfortably win Group H. And the same goes for Group I. But Hali Hodzic is struggling at Morocco. Um, a North African derby against Sudan for them. The two Guineas, Guinea and Guinea-Bissau. Guinea and Morocco both got to the last 16 of AFCON. They didn't get further than each other. Guinea-Bissau went out in the group stage. I think it'll be close. Morocco are really, really bad away from home. At home they're solid, but away from home they do struggle. Even in the last qualifying campaigns, they've struggled away from home. Um, I think it'll be close, guys. I think it'll be close. Morocco should have enough. Just. Just about, I think. They won't make the playoffs um, in terms of winning the playoffs. But I think Morocco are going to win Group I. And last but not least, Group J. The only group, I believe, that has all four teams from AFCON 2019. DR Congo, Benin, Madagascar and Tanzania. Um, Madagascar, the mighty Ahmed Ahmed. Tanzania with Samata. Uh, Benin, AFCON quarter-finalists, DR Congo, they're always there or thereabouts, aren't they? They're always in the mix. Again, Group J is a very tough and interesting group. Um, I think DRC will be battling with Madagascar. And I wouldn't be surprised if Madagascar got past Congo, considering they did in AFCON, didn't they? Madagascar knocked Congo out. Going to be an interesting game, but DR Congo, again, another country that need to get their act together. They're going to want a bit of revenge after bottling qualifying for the 2018 World Cup. So I think DR Congo will narrowly, narrowly finish above Madagascar. So there, there you go. There's my 10 group winners, guys. Let me know your 10 group winners in the comments down below. This has been the World Cup qualifying draw for the second round. We now look forward to Algeria. Six qualifying fixtures. I've given you my predictions for every group. Let me know down below in the comments your predictions for these African qualifying group games. Subscribe, drop a like if you haven't, and I'll see you next time.